Hello and welcome. Today we'll be taking a look at tree farming using pistons. What I have set up is basically a vertical tree crusher that will crush anything that is placed in this column that you see visible open in the center there. And so if we grow a tree there, we can press a button, crush our tree, and collect all the wood. And you might get, if there's a leaf in the way, you might get maybe one sapling in the process as well. But otherwise it's pretty fast. And so uh, basically we just have our button here going off in two different directions for each set of vertical uh, piston pillars we have here. In this case, the problem we have here, or the problems we have here that we need to overcome is first we need to prevent leaves from um, growing in the way of our pistons because otherwise they'll just push the pistons around and push them into our torches and break a lot of stuff. So first we have to make sure that all the pistons on one side are open at all, uh, all times while we're growing our tree so that we don't get the leaves growing in the way. And then afterward we need to open the piston and then both sets need to close at approximately the same time and then the left side that we have here that is open needs to close back and then open again to make sure that no items are stuck in the way because if it doesn't do that you will get a bunch of items sitting on the tower on this side here as if it was some sort of you know shelf and we would have items sitting sort of on top of them and you would need to build a ladder to collect them so uh, it sort of just makes sure that everything is loosened up and all the items fall down and then they'll if you build a uh, tube around this thing you will make sure as well that items are pushed to one side for even easier collection although I haven't had any problems with collection anyway with this setup but I have sort of stretched out the redstone here a bit to make it easier to uh, see what's going on so when we press the button here it goes around comes through this repeater and this repeater is strictly here for directional purposes because once we go around this loop we do not want an infinite loop so this is just here to prevent an infinite loop of uh, redstone power occurring whenever it gets to this spot so it comes up goes up some stairs touching each redstone torch along the way going around and it just makes contact with all of them I have four redstone torches in this column all together and they will power the piston in the corner here you see that this one will power this and this one at the same time so the result is whenever this is activated all of them will open and then they will close by themselves after a short period of time and then in the meanwhile we're going to have our loop occurring in the back here which is a set of uh, four maxed out repeaters and it's going to go around and touch the same area and then it's going to come up and open them one last time and then again they will close by themselves and whenever it opens the first time is when the crushing is going to happen whenever it opens back up by itself so when we press the button it opens crushes and then make sure no items are stuck on the piston pillar and meanwhile over here as well as you've seen this is just a delay of two maxed and one half maxed uh, repeater delays that are going into an inverter and then just mirroring our ladder from the other side it doesn't have to be an exact mirror but it is pretty close what I have here and I didn't need any repeaters along the way because the power had enough uh, I had enough power to reach the top without any additional repeaters. And so uh, as long as you um, have them both crushing at the same time, it's fine, but you may have to fiddle around with the timing depending on your chunk position, perhaps. There's some weird issues with that, but otherwise it's fairly reliable. You just also have to make sure that if you don't regulate your... Uh, button press times with some sort of other circuit you have to make sure that you get a good press in because if you just press quickly and then immediately release and look away or something then you're going to have some broken pistons but otherwise it's pretty simple and it might take a bit of uh, bone meal to get it up 
the uh, tree up the first time, but otherwise you just flick the button, crushes, and then all these leaves you can just ignore and collect your uh, wood there. And that was a five tall tree, so you get five wood per tree on most occasions. Sometimes you get four, but for the most part, this particular setup gives usually five. And then once most of the leaves decay, if you want, you can pick up the remaining saplings. And if they're touching some solid blocks, sometimes, you know, they'll remain floating. But otherwise, it's pretty quick and doesn't require any cleanup because the leaves won't block the trees from growing at all. So uh, you can just leave them be if you'd like, if there are still some remaining leaves floating attached to some solid blocks. So that should be about it, I believe, uh, and I'll see you next time.